It's interesting that you raise the topic of after 9-11, we didn't want to listen to what any other country uh, had to say about how we would respond. But just philosophically, shouldn't we have? I mean, it's hard to look at what we, the United States did in terms of Iraq uh, and then, of course, the 20-year the war in Afghanistan and not think that we could have taken some advice. I'm just, this, I wasn't planning on asking this question, but, no. ph but philosophically, what do you think? So I'm not talking about Iraq or Afghanistan. What I'm talking about is the emotions we felt after that is understand that we were deeply wounded. We were deeply angry. And all we wanted to do was to make sure that we made a wrong right. That's how Israel feels right now. So first, understand that they're hurt and they're bruised and they're broken. Second, understand that Hamas has said that when they get the chance, they're going to do this to Israel again. And so Israel's biggest concern is how do they protect the Israeli people from this ever happening again? Biden needs to understand that if he expects Israel to listen to them. Instead, he's lecturing them. That's not the way you're going to get Israel to listen. You have to look at what Israel's top agenda is. It's to protect the Israeli people.